everyone, Elliot Jacobson here, and today I am announcing my new Excel spreadsheet called the Statistical Blackjack Sidebet Analyzer. Kind of a mouthful, but essentially what it does is it lets you figure out the house edge on a number of very common side bets. So let me just go ahead and show this thing to you right now. So this is what the spreadsheet looks like. And what you can see is that up here, it has a green field for the number of decks so that you can input however many number uh, decks you want to um, analyze. It also then has this middle section which allows you to keep track of a shoe in real time or to explore various compositions of a shoe in terms of what cards are there and which aren't so that you can compute the house edge. Down here in this section is where we actually list the house edges. So you see the nine side bets I have right now are insurance, king's bounty, lucky ladies, lucky lucky, pair square, perfect pair, royal match, royal 20s, and 21 plus three. Then over in this section, I have the macros. Um, one is to reset the shoe. So depending on how you've used this, it'll just reset the number of cards here to be the right number for whatever number of decks you've chosen. And then we have a compute all button. And let me just show you what happens when I click on compute all. And so you can see that this is simply going through and analyzing, doing the analysis for us at this point. We have a second uh, tab down at the bottom called pay tables. And again, notice the green parts. What this allows you to do is to vary the pay table. So you may have found um, a version of a side bet that has a slightly different pay table than the ones that are set here by default. So you are more than welcome to just go in there and change those pay tables to whatever you are observing um, at the game that you're looking at. So let me just show you a couple things about this. Uh, first of all, let's just explore those pay tables just a little bit. So for example, here if I go to Lucky Ladies, a very common difference here is in a double deck game, you would have this be 200, um, 25, 10, like this. And so if I run this computation, 225, 10, 4, minus 1, and I have it at 6 decks, then you'll see what happens to the lucky ladies here is the house edge, which was very close to 25%, is now at 17%. But if I reset this to 2 decks, the way that pay table is meant, and after I hit 2, I have to say reset shoe, and that changes all of these numbers to 2. Then if I hit compute all, we should see the um, house edge for lucky ladies be what we are accustomed to. And right here we have it at 24.93, very close to 25%. Well, let me go ahead and set that back. And let's go to the first tab and just once again hit compute all. So this is the basic setup. This is written in Visual Basic. Um, if you want to go to the developer tab right here, you can then look at the Visual Basic code by clicking up here in this part. You may need to enable this in your version of Excel in order to have this view. But this comes with a U unlicense, and unlicensed essentially means that I am releasing this into the public domain as is. You are welcome to mess with this in any way you see fit, and I don't care. So this is just now a public domain piece of software. So let's change this back to six, reset the shoe, compute all, and let me show you a couple of things you can do with this that are interesting. The first, of course, is that you can um, use this in real time if you play at an online casino. So you might, for example, be in a casino that offers an online casino that offers the Royal 20 side bet. And you may have a hand where you're dealt a five and a six and you double down and get a 10, whereas the dealer had a, um, a seven as an up card and turned over a queen. So you've observed those cards in the hand. 
So you simply click on those and you notice that these numbers have gone down to five because that card has now been removed. So you can then compute all and you can see the new house edge. Well, it covers every single bet. So you can see this happening very quickly. And now the Royal 20s is down to 18%. Um, so this is just one way to um, very quickly be able to see what the house edge is in real time. So let me actually bring this up full screen and make this just a little bit easier to look at for this part. All right. So the next thing that you could do is you can actually um, use this to try and develop your own card counting system. So for example, for Lucky Ladies, which is 24.92 for the six deck game, we might just wonder what happens if a queen of hearts, a single queen of hearts is removed from the shoe. So if we just take away that one key card, the queen of hearts and recompute all, you'll see that the original house edge was 24.92. And now once we take that away, um, we get a 27.08. So we see that there's over a 2% change in the house edge just by removing one single queen of hearts from the shoe. That's out of a six deck shoe. So that is a very significant um, effect of removal. Whereas if we were to just simply remove, for example, a queen of diamonds and compute all, then you'll see that the change in the house edge for lucky ladies is not nearly as much. So here it's 25.55, so it's about half a percent. So the way you can go about creating a card counting system um, is just by one at a time, removing a card of each rank. If there's a special card for that, like um, in the King's Bounty, it would be the King of Spades. If there's a special card for that um, side bet, then you have to treat that differently and maybe give that one card a special tag or do a side count of that one card. But essentially, this allows you to go through and um, one at a time remove cards, see the effect on the house edge, scale those into a card counting system. Now it does not allow you to actually um, compute the, how, the um, profitability of a card counting system, nor does it allow you to compute the target true count at which the um, side bet becomes profitable for you, but it does give you a tool to see the effects of removal. And that is always the very first step in any uh, development of a card counting system. All right. The another thing this allows you to do this piece of software is if you work in surveillance at a casino, then you might wonder whether a person is actually card counting. Are they exploiting a side bet? And it is quite a difficult thing to know every card counting system for every side bet. So all you need to do is to have surveillance observe a shoe where a player may be making a side bet late in a shoe, and they can simply track that shoe themselves. Just track the cards through that shoe right here. Observe when the player made the wagers hit compute all for that player. And uh, um, at the time the person makes the wager and see in fact, whether there is an edge on the player side or not at that point. So this is a very um, useful tool for surveillance. Typically what happens in ordinary high low card counting is that you might have the pit um, themselves be trained how to use that particular card counting system. And so it isn't unusual in some casinos to see the pit, and especially in single and double deck games, just take the cards out of the discard tray and actually do a manual count to see whether somebody is raising their bets with the count. But that's certainly not an effective way to track whether somebody is card counting a side bet or not, because there's simply too many different counting methodologies. So you just can compute an exact house edge and take it from there. So another thing is um, if you are in a place, um, a casino where there is one side bet that you're more interested in than others, then you're more than welcome to just go into the code just go to 
the Visual Basic code itself and comment out all the computations that are for the side bets that you don't care about. That will greatly speed up this program because it has to do a lot of computations in order to cover all of these uh, house edges in one um, go of it. So, okay, that is the statistical blackjack side bet analyzer. It consists of a real time uh, um, panel here where you can keep track of a shoe, the ability to just reset the shoe at any time, the ability to change the number of decks in the shoe, the ability to change the pay tables. And if you're a good programmer, you're certainly welcome to add more side bets to this for your own use. Down here I have some instructions. I have the disclaimer that these results are not guaranteed. I feel fairly confident that bugs happen. The software is provided as is. So, okay, that is pretty much what we're talking about here. So I hope this has been a good introduction to this spreadsheet and that you will find this useful for whatever you do and whoever you are. All right, everyone, this is Elliot Jacobson. See you later.